I finished the 11 mile training run for my 28 week training plan for the Dopey Challenge. Last year I swept at mile 22 at the Disney Marathon. I've been meticulously planning to make sure I can finish Dopey, which is 48 miles. I don't like failing. I just look at it as a setback. So I'm hoping the things I'm learning can help you in any way in any of the challenges or any of the trainings that you're doing. When I started 10 weeks ago, my weight was 235 pounds and my goal is to be at 200 pounds by the time I get through this 28 week training plan. My average pace when I started was a 14 and a half minute mile. Since I'm doing Dopey and I have to run a full marathon at the end of all this, I'm hoping to be down at least to a 12 minute mile. Otherwise the race is gonna take six plus hours. And in Florida, it can get hot very fast. So I don't wanna be on the course any longer than I have to, unless it's meeting characters on the side or something. This week's training had two 45 minute runs and 11 mile run on Saturday. During these 45 minute runs, I'm running about three and a half miles. So I'm averaging about 12 minute 50 second mile, which is a huge improvement from my start. I still have about 18 weeks to go. So I'm confident I can reach the time I'm hoping for. So I really have to stick to it. The 11 mile run, I was about a 12 and a half minute mile though the last two miles were very, very hard. It was a struggle to get through it. The humidity was really rough. I couldn't keep that pace up for 26 miles. I still have a long way to go to get there. It is great that I'm doing a 12 and a half minute mile for 11 miles and each long run, they seem to get easier. So I'm very confident as long as I keep this up, I can get there. The key to succeeding this run is to lose weight, but also test all the equipment that I have to see what works and what doesn't work. That way I'm not at 26 miles and finding that I use the wrong socks or I'm not hydrated enough. Last week, I weighed 229 pounds. This week, I weigh 228. I'm finally back to the weight I was at four weeks ago. It took me one week to gain weight, and it's taken me four weeks to get back to the point where I was then. So I really have to make sure I stick to this diet if I want to be at 200 pounds. At the rate I'm losing weight right now, I'm going to be about 207 or 209. I'm not going to be at 200 pounds. So I really have to stick to it because I haven't even plateaued yet, which we all know happens with weight loss. I'm going to work extra hard to shave off the extra seven to nine pounds. I'm also using new shoes, new socks, and a camelback this year, which I didn't use last year. There's a link in the description to all the equipment that I use for my runs. Lately, I've been really trying to dial in the hydration and to eliminate blisters. Those are two things that in the Florida heat that are very, very important when doing long distance running. I also have flat feet. So I also have to have some special socks and different things to help my arches for those long runs. I'm wearing hookah shoes and a special feature socks that's made for flat feet. And this was the first time I got to test them on a long run. In addition to this long run, it was in the upper 70s with 95% humidity. So I really got to test the swelling and different things that happen in the high heat environment. On this long run, the socks did amazing. This is the first time ever I've run long runs without my arches hurting or having blisters. I had neither. I could walk around the next day. I took an Epsom salt bath just to keep the swelling down after the run, but during the run, everything was great. The last two miles were rough, but that was more of an energy thing and my quads hurting, not as much my feet or any kind of swelling. The hookah shoes did great. I had no knee pain, no ankle pain. At my weight, I tend to wear shoes down very quickly and they seem to be holding up great. So I'm excited for that. Though I did have to buy another pair because I'm gonna be running over 500 miles and I don't think they're gonna hold up that long. Based on my hydration planner, I should be drinking about 77 ounces of water on an 11 mile run. That is a little over two liters somewhere in that ballpark. I also have to put a large portion of electrolyte powder in my water because I sweat a lot. I mean, a lot. The camelback I wore this past weekend was under two liters, but I had hoped the cooler weather, it would have been okay. It was not. The last mile or two, I ran out of water and I was getting very, very thirsty, which may have contributed to why the last mile or two was so rough. So I had to buy a bigger camelback that is three liters now. Since I'm running 26 miles, I'm gonna do three liters plus when I get to that point to make sure I stay hydrated. I'm glad I learned that now that the camelback was too small because going forward, the weekend runs start taking Saturday and Sunday both. Since I'm training for Dopey, I have to train my way up to a half marathon on Saturday and a full marathon on Sunday, which means I'll probably use both camelbacks. I did buy some ultra shoes to use for my 45 minute runs during the week. I do like the extra toe space, but in the past they've worn down very quickly because of my weight. If you have any tips or comments, make sure and put them in the comment. To see how I started and how much I've adapted, click this video. When the video's ready, next week's training will be here and we can see how I continue to adapt.